Hey friends and family, my name is Skylint, and today I am announcing that I quit. Today marks the first day that I will only be working on this channel. Like this channel, that's it. All eggs in the basket, this one basket. And that's not a good thing, that's not a good thing, it's not. It's, uh, it's actually a pretty bad thing, and very scary now, especially with YouTube being the way it is. However, maybe it's also because of the way YouTube is that I have to do this. It's basically like the world is, is asking me, it's like, are you really serious about this? Because we're going to test you, and uh, if you're not good enough, if you're not dedicated enough, you're not going to make it, and you're going to starve, and you're going to die. Well, I don't, I would rather not starve. Uh, I'm very hungry. I'm very hungry, and I want to work very, very hard. And so that's why I am not going to curve my appetite by doing a bunch of freelance gigs. You know, getting a couple bucks here, a couple bucks there, and spreading myself too thin. I'm completely going to focus on this channel from now on. And yes, that means, to a detriment, my other side projects that I had just started, I can't work on those until this channel's stable. Uh, very tragically. So what does this mean, and um, why, why am I making this video? Well, I, I just today quit Frame Station, Station, but I think a lot of you guys, my friends and family, I think a lot of you guys followed me over from Free MMO Station, or you heard of me from Free MMO Station, or maybe you just watched Free MMO Station kind of stuff, you know, talking about Free MMOs, and then you saw my top tens, and then from there, you guys uh, joined us. You joined a part of the family and became my friends. And I really appreciate that. That's what I want to do here. I want this to be a very social and back and forth communication thing. Okay, that's why I stream so much. That's why I stream more than almost anybody on YouTube, actually. You know, aside from Twitch streamers, who, well, that's what they do, they stream. Um, so, today though, I had to finally quit Free MMO Station. I'm gonna tell you the story of my whole adventure at Free MMO Station, as well as what it's like to be a freelancer, if you guys want to watch that. But, I needed to open up by just saying that, today I quit, so that I can finally begin. Today I'm starting this channel hardcore. As in, I used to work 10 to 12 hours a day on just this channel. Research, uh, you know, in development. <laughs> I'm actually editing, you know, recording, uh, testing games, stuff like that. I actually did a lot of videos that I ended up having deleted because I didn't feel like they were really that good. So yeah, even if it seems like I only do one or two or maybe three videos a day, I actually do a lot more on this channel or otherwise. But very recently, I ended a lot of freelance gigs, uh, such as Dota Card. I had a lot of fun with that, and if you're watching, thank you so much for that opportunity. Um, but basically, one by one, all of my other freelance gigs that I was doing, I had to end based on priority, you know? Based on priority of how much it would benefit my brand name. Um, so, you know, that's why I kind of kept Free MMO Station along for so for so long. Is that, well one, they paid me well, it was reasonable. Uh, the, the videos were incredibly relevant to something that I would do on my personal channel. In fact, you saw a lot of cross-posting, a lot of cross-promotion as well. And overall, like, they are a larger channel, and they were consistently growing. And so, I got a little bit of exposure like that. And like I said, a lot of you guys probably, you know, know me from Free MMO Station. But it's gotten to the point, and it actually has definitely crossed that point a while ago, where I need to not freelance. I need to get a big boy job. I need to maybe apply to be a community manager somewhere, which I've, I've been doing, by the way. Um, I need to maybe join, uh, like, maybe a journalistic site that will pay full-time. You know, I can actually go to their offices and work and, and do some very serious and very big productions. Um, it's just freelance work is too light. It's too light, it's too impersonal, and whenever I'm trying to make a brand of my name as a personality, it doesn't quite work, you know? So Free MMO Station is more about the news, about sharing games, um, you know, when it comes to like a marketing standpoint. Uh, they're more promotional, and there's nothing wrong with hype. I mean, it's like my slogan, you know, it's my catchphrase. I understand that, but I, I want to go a little bit deeper as well, and I can do that as a named channel. Other bigger channels can't quite do that. Um, you know, if they don't have a name. But as a name channel, as Skylint, I, I have a lot, so much flexibility. I have so much depth as a, as a character, as a person, and I play all sorts of weird games. I want to share that with you. I want to share, I want to share my, my flavor, <laughs> the way I play games, the way I see games. I want to literally show you some weird games that nobody else is brave enough to show you. Because it probably won't get views. But if we carve out a niche here, then, you know, maybe, maybe we can actually start really showing that stuff off. That's my hopes and that's my dreams. And so that's why I'm putting all my eggs in this basket, which is scary and bad and not good, but I want to do it. Yeah, I really want to make this happen. 
And so now the 10 to 12 hours that I used to work on this channel and then I freelanced, you know, the rest of my waking time. Nope. Free Freedom of Emotion is, uh, that's done now. And I am getting a little bit emotional. I am a little bit sad. Uh, I actually teared up a little bit. I teared up multiple times uh, whenever I thought of quitting Freedom of Emotion. I really couldn't. It's just because they were my, f my, <laughs> they were my first. Um, so it was November 25th, 2012, where I, well, well my first video got uploaded. I did a Age of Wushu first impression. Do you guys remember that game? It was a Wuxia type of, uh, mar it was a martial arts, Asian, a Chinese MMO. It was okay. It was okay. And I, I took a long time. I, I did my best with that video. And honestly, it was probably my best video for like the first three years. You know, I put a lot of love and heart into it. So uh, I'm actually looking at that video now and it's, man, uh, it was so cheesy. I, I started my, my career actually on a MacBook Pro. Yeah, because that's what they gave out at Full Sail University. Um, I had a YouTube channel before that, but I didn't do like hardcore gaming stuff. I did like, I did music and some other things, but um, no, when I got my MacBook Pro instantaneously, I used the webcam, I used the mic. Uh, I actually went and bought a Logitech mic, and then I had a Turtle Beach mic, and I used that as the mic for these videos. And then sometimes I'd use the MacBook mic, depending on, you know, if my Turtle Beach was broken or not, because, dude, oh my god, dude, it, when you're poor and you buy poor stuff, you get what you pay for, so a lot of stuff just broke all the time. Even my MacBook, which was expensive at the time, um, it still just was constantly finicking, so... I, it was so hard to get started. It was, it was like, I went through so much trouble. Um, you know, his games would just break all the time. And the MacBook wasn't very strong um, relatively for, you know, playing MMOs and recording with fraps and stuff. So I went through so much trouble uh, shooting, <laughs> troubleshooting. I had to learn how to do so much so quickly in such awkward uh, constraints when it came to like my home life, my internet, um, you know, where I was actually working, my workspace, stuff like that. I had to record in very public places and you know I just did it because I, I loved it and I wanted I wanted it to be a thing and look look where we are now we're now on the cuff of actually having an actual career almost we're almost there and it is thanks to, to places like free MMO station and I will say mainly free MMO station for allowing me to get my foot in the door and that's why I want to I want to say to you guys a lot of you I know you watch because you're growing yourselves a lot of us content creators we watch each other and I know a lot of content creators watch me because I say things other content creators aren't willing to say and do. Which, by the way, is probably not the best business decision, guys. Just so you know, as you might be able to tell from a couple of videos where I've been calling it out. It's really best to just hype and sell things. Anyways, regardless. Whew, uh, regardless, it was it was really rough in the beginning, but Freedom of Mo Station uh, came along because uh, they actually saw, they saw a video I did. It was called Mortal Online Sucks. Yeah, no. Even even way back then, I had the same personality, and I still had the same outlook that I that I have now. Certain games could be amazing, and they suck because they're money hungry. So, anyways, Mortal Online was one of those games, and even today, it's still extremely not great, but maybe playable. I know a lot of people. I think Darkfall is actually free right now. Darkfall is definitely the competitor to Mortal Online, though I don't think it's free. It's just it's free, you know, uh, trial right now before it actually releases. Anyways. So that was that was the game. Uh, Free MMO Station, the boss there. He's like, I kind of like that video. Let's give you a shot. And then I did the Age of Wushu. And uh, then he's like, yeah, okay, uh, $5, you know, a video. Do a first impression. And we'll see where it goes. And so that's what I did. It was pretty cool. He, he offered to pay me. You know, any, hey, anything was cool. And back then, $5 was pretty decent for a first impression. You know, the exposure, the experience. Why not? Um, but... And don't worry, guys, throughout the years, I got raises, you know, from five to ten to fifteen dollars. I got bonuses. You know, I had a monthly bonus. Uh, it wasn't much. It was like a hundred dollars. It was a hundred dollars. Uh, and then we had things like if we had a paid promotion and it was a giant paid promotion, I'd get, you know, half the money. So sometimes I get like 50 bucks here, a uh, hundred dollars there, something like that. And, you know, it was OK. It was OK. It was it was definitely not a full time job. It didn't even count as a part time job. And yet, even though it was freelance, I still had to put a lot of time and effort into researching these games. Um, an example would be I at the time MOBAs were exploding, but I had never played a MOBA. So I had to go and waste hundreds of my own hours just researching MOBAs, playing MOBAs before I could really give a proper critique. And back then I was still getting five dollars a video. So that's what happened. I ended up becoming pretty good at MOBAs and I became known in the MOBA space, even to the point now where whenever I jumped into Master Master, every single time I jumped in to stream or to record footage, 
somebody would be like, hey, isn't that Skylink from YouTube? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so no, I, I'm, I'm definitely known to a lot of people in the, you know, the MMO or MOBA or free to play multiplayer game circuit, thanks to Frame MMO Station. But yeah, it's definitely time to say goodbye. So even though I have this kind of, ex I have a little bit of exposure and I, I've made a little bit of a name for myself. It really, ever since I made, I actually started using this Skylint Games channel, my exposure has been tenfold exposed. Really, the stuff I did for Free MMO Station was really helping Free MMO Station. I got my foot in the door, absolutely, and I got experience, and I got some exposure. But now it's time to get some more professional exposure in a team studio setting. Uh, that's actually been the complaint. I've had so many interviews because yes, I did get experience and exposure with Free MMO Station or just all the sorts of freelancing that I've done. I even with actual video game companies and the marketing teams and, and the publishers, I've worked directly with them. Yeah, that's all good and stuff. It's great. It's well, it's, it's good, <laughs> but y it comes to a point where I'm st I've still never had a big boy job. You know, I, I mean, obviously I've worked at, you know, like Target or something like that, Pizza Hut. You know, I've, I've had jobs. But I've never had a career job with benefits and hourly pay that's like actually decent. You know, I've never had that safety ever. I've I've come from being homeless. I was legally literally homeless and luckily I got my hands on a laptop thanks to freaking Full Sail University and then now we're here. And we've come a long way, but I should honestly I should be so much further. Uh, you know, come, people coming out of college, they get much more money, they get significantly more benefits. Uh, I know that the, the whole atmosphere in America is not that great with jobs and the college thing. Honestly, colleges are just kind of scammy, but whatever. Uh, in terms of getting a job, it's not always just super easy, I understand that. I definitely put in the work though. It's just, when you're freelancing, the work that you become known for isn't the same kind of work whenever you move into more team oriented and more professional type of stuff. And I don't mean any offense to anybody that I've ever freelanced for. It's just whenever I've done interviews, which I've had so many interviews, so many soul crushing interviews. I'm talking double, triple interviews with like Riot Games and stuff. Do you know how good that would have been for me? That would have made my career. I would have been made. But it's almost always been the case that everything looks amazing, Sky. Um, however, you never worked with a team. And it's like, well, kind of, but not in a studio setting. Oh, well, we're really looking for people that have that have, have teamwork. So, um, I, you've never actually, you've only freelanced? Okay, well, mm, okay, well, then we can't hire you. And that kind of sucks. That seriously really sucks. I would really like if somebody just gave me an opportunity, and I'm fine with that. If somebody gave me an opportunity for a full-time position, then I could spend eight hours a day on my channel, eight hours at work and not have to freak out all the time and do all sorts of mindless, mind-boggling research um, and trying to do so much weird experimental stuff on my channel and I could really focus on my channel. Like actually pinpoint focus on a particular niche. Right now, obviously it's very random because I'm struggling and grasping at straws, trying to see what the fuck you guys want to watch um, and, and trying to get, you know, the YouTube algorithm down packed. But I would I would love it if I could just, just review games. If you guys... Even if I, if I, you know, just took my YouTube at a loss, I would just love to review games. I would love to be very serious and seriously take games serious. <laughs> um, but right now, it's kind of hard. I gotta do a bunch of random uh, marketing stuff. So, it kind of is tragic. Um, so, it's either, it's either this YouTube, this personal channel, like 24 hours a day. Hopefully, I'll be uploading six, six, every six hours. There'll be a video going up. Seriously, guys, I don't give a fuck. Who needs sleep? I want this to work. I, I, I want to say I work harder than anybody else, but, you know, that's kind of dickish. That's kind of egocentric, but I want to upload a video every six hours, and I, I like, that. that's the direction I want to go in, and I'm also going to be sending out applications. I'm going to be sending out applications and, and doing that um, so we can get a, a big boy job, hopefully, but, you know, after all these years, I've only ever had interviews. I had a lot of interviews. Actually, I have full confidence that anything I apply to, I'll probably get a call back. But it seriously always comes down to, it's like, yeah, we know you, we watch your videos, but you've never worked inside a studio as a real journalist. You're not a real person. <laughs> you, you're not a real person. And so, yeah, that really sucks. So yeah, I, I mean, I implore you guys to, to go get do freelance gigs, get your foot in the door, get some exposure and experience, but 
don't don't make that a full time job and just do it for a year or two. You know, like like college. You go to college for a year or two, uh, three, four max for for some big stuff. Okay, well, actually, it goes a lot more, but whatever. You know what I'm saying, guys? You get your experience, you get your knowledge, and then, and then you really test and challenge yourself. And I don't feel like I'm really being tested or challenged. And I'm, I am really hungry. I'm really hungry to work very hard. So that's what's happening. I'm quitting everything else, and I'm focusing on my channel. I will be applying at other places. I will let you know if I get into any of them because I feel those bigger publications. Um, or maybe a game company that'll open more doors than close. But if I freelance, that's only, absolutely only and wholly taking time away from my career. So no more freelance, just this channel and me just trying to actually further the career and the brand. And even, even if, a, if a game company actually does try to hire me and they say I can't make YouTube videos anymore. No, this channel, this community, my friends, my family, you guys. You're the real deal. Um, and at 33,000 subscribers, I'll tell you why I call you guys my family. And uh, we'll we'll probably do maybe a monthly monthly sort of vlog behind the scenes. I'll kind of teach you some stuff that I've that I've learned. So maybe you don't have to waste you know five years of your life, and you can just immediately jump in and succeed, which would be great. <laughs> Anyways, so that's it, guys. Grand Mo Station was pretty great. Um, but I should have left the nest a, while, a little bit a while ago. And it's been fun. It's been fair. Free Mo Station's still a pretty neat channel. I disagree with some things, such as uh, their sponsorship of uh, GTA. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with all the games they publicize, but overall, still a pretty cool channel. Still pretty alright. Thanks for the memories, Free Mo Station. Thanks for the foot in the door. Thanks for helping me learn and hone my craft. I think it's honed enough. I think I've I've got what it takes to make it in the world. Let's uh, let's see if I do. Let's see if I survive or if I die. Hopefully you guys are having fun. My name's Skylint, and I'll see you in the next one.